Hey everyone, this is Lynn from lynnsfood.com. Today we are cooking pepper chicken. Now it's um, basically chicken curry, um, very light with um, quite a bit of tomatoes and um, with an emphasis on the pepper. It's one of my mom's um, recipes and one of my favorite childhood recipes. My mom was always working, so on the odd occasion um, when she was home cooking, it was good, you know? Um, let's look at the ingredients closely as you usually do. Yeah. Right, these are the ingredients to make our pepper chicken. Sliced onions, one large, garlic and ginger, um, garam masala, which I will pound um, fresh. I, I like to have it fresh each time I use it. Hot chili powder, freshly ground, coarse grind black pepper, um, turmeric, some sugar, coarsely chopped um, tomatoes, about three medium or two large, and fresh um, coriander for after. Okay, let's get cooking. Right, here we've got the ghee heating up, um, as you can see in the saucepan. And uh, it's pretty hot now, it's on high heat. Um, full recipe on linsfood.com, as usual. Um, now what we're going to do is we are going to sprinkle the um, sugar. That's the sugar. Yeah, we're going to, the sh going to spill, um, sprinkle the sugar in there. And uh, we're just going to twirl the saucepan about. Count to ten, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we are going to add the onions in there. Now the sugar is there to add a natural coloring to the curry later. Um, as it caramelizes, sugar turns color, turns into a brown color. And um, it's going to add that much needed um, natural color to the curry. Um, no need for you know artificial coloring and stuff so we're going to saute the onions for about three minutes until they turn a lovely golden color you can see that the onions are just turning they've softened now and they're just turning now what we're going to do is add the um, onion and garlic mixture and cook that for another minute or so. As you can see. Now after about a minute, when you can actually get a wonderful aroma, we're going to add um, most of the rest of the ingredients. The tomatoes, roughly chopped, the um, turmeric, the pepper, lots of pepper, and the chili powder. And we're going to, going to stir that. Now we're going to let these flavors develop and deepen. That'll take Another, say, three to five minutes. Hmm, looks good, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, this has had about, <coughs> pardon me, five minutes. Also, we're going to add the chicken in now. And um, <coughs> we're going to coat the chicken in all of that goodness. Okay, now um, I'm going to coat the chicken. Here we are. Thoroughly. Let it, let the chicken meat take on the flavors of all that, <clears throat> all those spices, the tomatoes and the pepper. The chicken here is going up my nose, um, as usual. Okay, we've, we've let the chicken sit um, in all that um, yummy goodness for about five minutes. And we're now going to add some water. <coughs> yep. So, 
about 200 mils or so, more or less. You can add some more later if um, it's too dry. We're going to stir it. We are going to let this come to boil. We are going to cover it and we are going to let it cook for about 30 minutes until the chicken is done. Okay, here we go. Chicken's been simmering away for about 30 minutes and um, it's done. Um, it's a little bit wet. My mom used to make this curry pretty um, dry, but my husband and my kids love um, lots of curry sauce um, with whatever they're eating, even if there's something else to go with it. Now, at this point, it's done. All we're going to do is just add the um, freshly ground garam masala, teaspoons worth, stir it all in. Turn it off and we're done. Okay, there we go. Pepper chicken. Um, that's what my mom called it. Now all that's left to do before you dish it up is just some freshly chopped coriander all over. That was simple and that was quick, wasn't it? Perfect with rice, with roti, with naan, with French bread. I love French bread and curry. It's 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 a fab combination. If you've not tried it before, do so. Um, when I was little, and we used to have parties and all sorts, French bread, French bread and chicken curry was a standard party fare when I was um, growing up in Singapore. That was just my rice cooker you heard going off. That means the rice is done. Righty ho. Um, pepper chicken for today. For the full recipe and all other recipes, linsfood.com. Catch you guys later.